didn't mean to hit the video button, but here's the ground. Can you see that? So so dead. It looks like dog tracks or cat tracks. If you can see it. Whatever it was, he came through here and decided it wanted to come right up to my tent. Check me out. So. Yeah, so I definitely had something curious about me last night. And here's the woods. Something was moving around. Something big moving around in there. I'm not sure what it was, but coyotes bolted and they headed. Um, that's east, and they headed that way, southeast. So, and something came through here, making noise in the brush, breaking branches. I'm not sure what it was, but. Oh crap, there's its tracks. It came through there. Do you see its trail? So, I don't know when it came up to my bicycle. And then it noticed me and it left. I 
but it um it was definitely moving around in here not trying to be quiet at all but so last night Quite the adventure for me. Oh, I'm glad that that was over. It is over. Yeah. Towns is about a mile that way. Just over that first bridge right there. There you can see it. There's a bridge right there. And then town is like right on the other side of that bridge. <sighs> but I stopped right here and put a different sprocket on my bicycle. That way I could pull the weight of my camper trailer. You know, trying to save my motor. I now have the 44 tooth sprocket on there. I had the 36. Uh, here's my tent that I stayed in. Something hit. Something hit one of those wires on the other side. I believe last night. Something definitely was checking me out. to have Quite the adventure. No, I'm really glad to have that tent. <laughs> Save me some trouble. But anyway, that's what happened. Pretty wild night. There's a lot of Martins here. A lot of Martins. Okay, so I'm gonna pack it up. As you can tell, it's real overcasty. Tons of Martins flying over right now. I'm going to try to pick a better camp spot next time, somewhere not quite, I mean this is, I thought a good campsite, I mean, there's a creek right there, you know, actually it's a, it's an awesome lake, a, a creek, it feeds into a bigger creek, but, Look at this creek. Look at that. Let's see. Yeah. 
Here's some of the tracks. Go here. You see that? It says they're hog jacks. You see them? So there's some of the tracks. See that it's just anyway. and then here's this creek. So Something crossing this creek a lot of times through the night. So, here it is. Some ducks over there. Anyway. What an adventure. Here we go. There's that. There's that for you. A little bit of what's going on in my morning. So I'm ready to break camp, get packed up, and get on the road. That's enough for me here. Hopefully my bicycle does well. I had the sprocket turned the wrong way. Kicking my chain out. This side, so I had to take my sprocket off. I did it. I took the... I had took the... 36 tooth sprocket off yesterday. I mounted the 44 tooth on. I had to put a new chain on my bicycle. I had bought 10 foot of chain, so, and I have a chain breaker. So I used my chain tool on my, on the chain. What I did was I had some extra links, master links. I got a package of those, and what a cool little snow shovel. It is pretty nice. I'll show that to you. These days, but anyway, here's what we got. You can see, can you see that? That's the forty four tooth sprocket. Okay, and I had it turned around the other way, and it had my chain further this way, so it wasn't lining up straight with the sprocket here, so it would throw the chain when I had the other sprocket on, but... I kept my chain tight and made it work. I used my chain tensioner and everything and made it work. Well, after putting the 44 tooth on, I put it on the wrong way. Just like I had the 36 on. And after putting the 44 tooth sprocket on, I realized 
that it wasn't true. It wasn't straight, lining up with the sprocket on my motor. So I had to correct that. I had everything put back together, the chain, everything on. The problem is... The problem was... So I don't know if you can see... My chain was back here, moved over that way. But now... Now it's straight. It goes straight to my motor. So... I had to turn that sprocket around. And now it... Now it lines up real well. As you can tell. Well, my tire is doing good. It's not wobbling none. No. So, this is a 700C tire. And I believe they're 27 and a half inches. Um, it does go very nice with the 32, just not with the uh, not with the sprocket I had on it pulling the, not with the 32 pulling the camper with everything that I I call it a camper. It's a it's a two seater bicycle trailer. So with everything I got in that. I'm going to find out how well it rides today. I'm going to be sure to go over all my boat bolts and everything. Yeah. The chain. It seems to be all right. Um, I have a piece of all thread right here. Um, and it runs all the way back here and I have some some nuts here and then some lock nuts right here some washers in there and the reason for that is because of these motor mount bolts I was not paying attention and I lost a motor mount and I was like, you know, I had to ride back with one motor mount missing. Um, so I was able to find some all thread. Uh, and I got that. And I just hacksawed a piece off. And made my motor mount. You know, put it back in. So, I don't have a clutch cable. You know, this is my clutch, and my clutch is just messed up. Something inside of there isn't working right. I haven't gone in there to fix it or figure it out. So, I just haven't done anything about that. I'm probably not going to. I just pedal real hard until the motor starts and then off I go um, so I'm missing this right here I need a clamp right there I'm missing one it vibrated loose I almost lost my gas tank this one's the only one that I noticed loosening up and my gas tank sliding over I had to stop so, it's the only one I have left right now. I can't find these nuts anywhere. I'm going to have to, you know, do a little more searching for them. And I'll replace those. Uh, but for the most part, the motor's good. It runs, it runs good. I need to put a new gasket here, but I'm going to see if I can't make it maybe to somewhere like a Walmart or 
a stopping place where I can work on it again. I'm happy with the sprocket and the chain that I put on. Tether seems to be where it needs to be. So there's that. Hopefully everything goes well today. Alright. Well, I'm gonna tear down my tent. Put it in my bag. And I'm gonna take off. Hopefully this weather doesn't slow me down. I'm gonna try to make it to a decent sized town with a park or something that I can set up camp, but I wanna get away from here. And that means something definitely was checking me out last night and I didn't like it, so we'll see y'all later.